Hello there, I'm Chris Lee and Head Estimator here at SDCom. In this guided tour, I'll demonstrate our integrated takeoff and estimating capabilities on a commercial electrical project. To begin, log in at app.estcom.com and you'll land on your company dashboard that displays your current projects in the various stages of the estimating process. Next, click Add New Project. Enter the project name, project description, the status, project due date and time, the customer's name and location, and the estimator assigned to the project. Next, let's upload a set of drawings for the project. Click the Plans tab, Add Plans, and you can upload from sites like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, or directly from your computer. This can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the size of the file. Once the file is uploaded, the plans are broken out into individual sheets that can be deleted, renamed, or organized into folders. The remaining sheets will be available for markup on the takeoff screen. Let's click the takeoff tab and begin our quantity takeoff. First, use your mouse to move the drawing around and your mouse will to zoom in and out of the drawing. Next, use the plan navigation to rotate between the different sheets within the set of plans by name. Before we can accurately measure, we'll need to set a plan scale. You can do this using one of the predefined architectural or civil scales, or by measuring between two known points, like a three-foot doorway. In our example, the drawings have a 1 8 inch depicted scale on both sheets, and apply this scale for all plans. So now that the scale is set, we are ready to add our first takeoff. Click Add New Takeoff, Catalog, and let's browse to the electrical database and choose our pre-built 20 amp duplex receptacle. This assembly includes the receptacle, conduit, strap, couplings, and wire required for a commercial environment. Keep in mind, we have a full commercial and residential electrical database of parts and assemblies. You can add to and adjust the parts and assemblies you prefer at any point in time. Back to our takeoff. Now select the 20 amp duplex receptacle and choose the takeoff type, which in this case is count. Adjust the symbol size and color as preferred and click add to plan. This puts you in the takeoff mode and you can begin counting the receptacles on the drawing. Every click increments the count by one. To exit takeoff mode, click the takeoff name from the list. Now you're in edit mode and can move or delete takeoffs as desired. Now that we've counted the desired receptacles, let's use a linear takeoff to extend our overhead branch circuits from the electrical panel to the outlets. Click add new takeoff, and browse to the power and lighting branch assemblies. And let's use a 3 quarter inch EMT overhead branch with 9 number 12s to begin. Click select and choose linear from the drop down and adjust our color preference. To begin the measurement, we'll click next to the panel and make a run by dragging the mouse and single left click to turn to our first outlet. And then we'll double click to terminate the run. Now let's grab an assembly with a lower wire count.
Now let's add some four square boxes above each of the receptacles. This time we'll choose count. Let's change the symbol to a square, adjust our size, and pick a color that's appropriate. Let's jump to our lighting plan and begin those takeoffs. To expedite the demo, I've added a few items we'll need to get started. Let's begin with the 4-foot LED luminaires with Power Whip, specifically the H-Type as depicted on the plans. Now, let's run our overhead branch circuit in boxes close enough to tie this group of lights together. Lastly, let's add our ceiling mount occupancy sensors. Now we'll want to edit the description on the LEDs to match the lighting schedule for quoting purposes. This flows to the estimate and eventually our bomb that we'll send off to distribution for pricing. Now let's click the estimating tab to view our takeoff quantities and make adjustments. We can adjust any of the blue fields as required. At the bottom, you'll see the summary data for the group or phase and this gets extended out in the summary section where you adjust your labor cost, overhead and profit, and taxes. You can also break your job up into phases for pricing and project management purposes. Let's break them into power devices in one and lighting in the other. In addition to organizing our estimate, we can also create a bill of material in Excel format to send off to our parts house for pricing. You'll notice the assemblies are stripped down to the raw materials and consolidated into individual line items. Our last step is to create a customer facing quote. You can do this by clicking show bid which displays an itemized quote broken up by the group or phases you set up on the estimating screen. If you prefer to display less details, you can choose to display pricing by groups or phase instead. Now click Export Bid and this downloads a PDF copy you can email to the customer for approval. This concludes our guided tour. If you would like a personalized demo or to sign up for a free trial, please visit SDCom.com today.